Hey guys, this is Uzafa from my YouTube channel, Positive Academy. Today we have a special guest, Partho Mishra from Choco Chips. And we will be just asking him random questions and trying to just have a podcast with him. There was a previous episode done on my channel regarding the podcast. If you haven't watched, then you can just go watch it. It will be interesting. And I hope you will enjoy this session. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, Josefa, uh, tell me, uh, you asked me to join again. Uh, yes. Throw, throw whatever you want to ask. Yes. Actually, I just wanted to know about your journey so far. How was your journey till now? My journey as in uh, regarding my life? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, it's pretty difficult to put my journey into words uh, in, in a short uh, span of time, but I'll, I'll tell you. By the way, we have somebody called Brian. The voice is hey, Brian. I'm not able to listen to you. I'm coming. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah. Uh, yes, we, can. Yeah. we all can hear you. I'm working on my camera. Here we go. All right. Not that one. Not that one. Go ahead. Don't just ignore me. I'm going to eat my breakfast. I'm listening to our guest. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So uh, to begin with, uh, I started on very humble lines. Uh, I am from uh, a middle class family, right? And um, since childhood, I had the desire to be unique and creative in everything what I'm doing. So I kept uh, doing that. I did my uh, majors in physics. And after that, I was working uh, for an academy as one of the youngest uh, trainers or you can say educators who were mentoring yes, uh, people for your physics. videos in physics shastra as well as from one uh, that is no that no no that one was my personal channel so on that channel i was not able to work because of shortage of time at that time uh, so that's a different story altogether regarding youtube so i i worked uh, as the youngest uh, educator or mentor for an academy uh, who was guiding people in uh, physics in IITJ Advanced. And also, I was working as the youngest mentor for UPSC CSC at an academy. So it is also something unique that one educator working in two domains, right? So that was for a very short tenure of time. And then uh, uh, Vikram already knows, you also know that I worked at Vita also as one of the youngest uh, faculty and trainers to train people in personality development and stuff like that. So I'm into poetry. I write poetry in four languages, primarily into physics. Amazing. Right? amazing. So into, into instruments. So this these things I do. And recently, uh, it's a two-month-year-old baby, my YouTube channel, Choco Chips and Corporation, <laughs> right? So on that, I am uh, putting a regular uh, content. And uh, yeah, and right now, presently, I'm working with Stay Curious. So I'm working as one of the learning directors there. And uh, where where I try to understand that what all problems uh, students are facing and as well as parents are facing, I also work in the curriculum design. So yeah, that's that's a bit of it, which I'm doing right now. Yeah. yeah, how did this passion for physics develop? You were so much eager about physics. What made you choose that career? Because I myself, well, I'm a postgraduate mm -hmm. in physics, so I know a little bit about. Uh, is people consider that boring? It's not useful and all that. If they find it difficult, so how 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 is that love for your field? So I believe why people find subjects boring is because the way they are that is taught. So I was fortunate enough to good get uh, get good physics teachers in my school, and in fact, uh, the the first sign of interest developed by uh, coming in touch with Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam via his books. When I was so small, uh, at yes. that time, I uh, started reading his biographies and stuff. So that made me really interested in physics. Then I got a chance to watch a lot of documentaries uh, about Sir Isaac Newton, respected Albert Einstein, and uh, Max Planck. So these people, they motivated me a lot. In fact, uh, if I have to uh, uh, take another name, uh, Professor H.C. Verma from India yes, and Professor, 
Yeah, Professor Walter Lewin. They have been uh, my constant motivation throughout. You can also watch Professor Walter Lewin's lectures on YouTube. They are amazing. Yeah. Yes, here I have a question. Like when you are into childhood and when you are small, you have a dream that you will you want to become like this and that. You want to follow this and this. But at one point of time, when you when you reach certain level, maybe your adulthood or something, that dream fades. People are not, not able to achieve that. So how how can one overcome it and how can just make that into reality? That's a great question you asked, I must say. Uh, so to put it in words, uh, what I would like to say is that, see, it happens with everybody. You uh, have a dream in your childhood. And as you grow up, it starts fading away, right? So what you need to do, that is only the differentiating factor uh, among people who do and who do not. So basically, that those kind of phases also came in my life where I was very low. Uh, I, I thought that all my dreams would shatter. It, it keeps coming. So it's a part of life. So in those times, the only thing which you can look up to is your dream only. So if you really have that strong will and intent, if you really have that strong desire, uh, what I did was I kept writing my dreams since the very ch early childhood when I was in grade two or three. And I read them almost all the day. You need to constantly think about those things every time, even yes. in, when you are sad, even when you are broken, even you, when you have a heartbreak. So if you can do that, now, what is the best way to do that? To read different people from around the world. Because what will happen once you start reading and understanding things, you would be able to connect with different people that, okay, they also faced a very similar story like me. But then also they uh, became successful. So that gives you motivation. And that also pushes you to do more. So I never had this thing in my life, although I have gone through tough times, but I never had this thing in my life that I won't achieve my dreams. Not at all. I mean, not even for a single second. I had that thought that, okay, uh, although there were phases when I thought that, okay, all my dreams would get shattered, but the very moment I got it back, so the moment you start believing anything, whether it be good or bad, your mind behaves like that. So I would advise don't behave, don't believe like that, that, hey, you cannot do anything. It's a negative thought, right? Yeah. Yes, Steve Jobs one, once just told that the dogs get connected in our life, right? So now at one exactly. point of time, my dream was different. I just want to be an ISRO scientist, uh, I just appeared in PR, PR also physical research laboratory and give exam. But thereafter, my path totally changed. Now I am not into physics. Yeah, that's what a great your, book, by the way. Yeah, but what is yeah, your yeah, that's... about connecting dots in life? Will the dots get connected? Uh, definitely. So basically, see, what that statement means is, uh, right now, even I have paused my studies in physics because yeah. there are other priorities in life, right? But what what does he mean when he says that, hey, uh, you can only join the dots looking backwards? Is basically when you are going through tough times, you cannot realize the importance of those times. But after you pass through it, then you look back and see that, okay, these were there to make me a better human being. So that is what yeah. he means. So always it is it is good to self-reflect. And that's why journaling is very, very important. Uh, I always try to note down whatever I'm feeling to look at that later in my life. So that really helps. Yeah. Can I say something quick? Yes. Yes, yes, please. Uh, yeah. In America, I, I don't know if it's an American phrase or not. Uh, we, we say hindsight is 2020, uh, right? Hindsight yeah, is yeah. 2020. We Hind don't see, we can't see it clearly until we look back. Exactly. I like what you're saying about connections. That's what I'm. I'm a. I'm a teacher too. That's what I tell my students oh, wow. all the time. I'm like, just keep study, keep learning every day. Learn something new. Find something that you're interested in. Keep your interest open, and 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 don't 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 close. I hate when people say I hate. Right. I hate when people say. Uh, I don't know that. I don't want to know that. I'm not interested in that. No, because if if you if you close off this. You're not going to realize it's connected to that. Everything exactly. is connected. Exactly. You're absolutely right. I'm so glad you said that. And then the other thing about about training the mind. Yeah, this is this is these are ideas that um, this is this is not this man's idea. 
But if the audience wants to read this book, I'm always pushing this book. You know, this is my third copy of this book because I give it to people. My my father gave it to me. Hi, Vikram. My father gave it to me. Yes. And then and then and, and I've given this book to different people. But yeah, 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 yeah. Program your mind. Write it down. And it's not about believe. It's just no. Just expect you. You have to just you. You yeah. You have to just. Con it's not about convincing your mind. You just know what you're going to be, and you just know it, and you just that's exactly. It. Yeah, exactly. It's it's yeah. not about I want to be. No, I am. Absolutely, this is a great statement. Actually, uh, go in, ahead. In fact, you're you're believe... our guest. I talk a lot. <laughs> no, no. It, it's a pleasure listening to you as well. I'm meeting you for the first time, and uh, I would like to say that that book is an all-time classic. I read that book in my school and uh, Napoleon Hill, we all know, right? So highly acclaimed worldwide, right? So what, what Mr. Brian said is really important here. Uh, he said that you should know that you are already into it. So basically, if I have to put it in a nutshell, we all can say that, okay, I am the greatest person ever born on this planet. Don't say it to others. Just try to say it to yourself every day. That works like magic. It does not mean that you are the greatest. It might not mean, but it will help you a lot. Okay, so our mind takes any idea at the face value, whether it is good or bad. So that's how it works. It <laughs> definitely works. In fact, these days we can, we can actually record the audio and listen to our own audio speaking about our dreams and wishes so that really helps yeah can you just tell something exciting somewhere we can say okay Vikram you want to ask something yeah uh okay so Vikram would Hello. you like to ask something yeah somewhere we can say that we are a bit biased towards have a self-esteem, have a self-esteem. Because somewhere that we have to just prize ourselves like what we are doing. True. It's basically deep down your heart, you always know what you want to do. No, no. That's that's Actually, the real thing. We just give a yeah. point like we need to have a self-esteem at least. Like they are the people somewhere they try to just curse themselves. Look what we are doing. Ah, true, yes. true. We are not. Yeah, we should have so a higher self esteem. Than, we are a kind of the convict for this particular. Thing. That's the yes, first part. Actually. Yeah. Now you don't even yes. have to start with uh, with with I'm the greatest person on the planet. You can just start with, I deserve to be here. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. I have a purpose. And by, by the way, Mr. Brian, which subject do you teach? I am interested to know that. My my education is is English education high school, middle, secondary, high school. But I've been teaching since uh, 1998. So I teach everything. When you teach English, you teach books. Uh, yeah, and so you you make those connections. And now it's funny, I teach science a lot. Awesome. Um, awesome. I, teach, I teach kids overseas. Okay. Right now, a lot of oh, students wow. in China. Um, and that's how they they learn English. They they find a subject they are interested in. Right now, a lot of kids want to talk about science, so I'm talking a lot about leaves and stems and roots. Say roots, <laughs> right? <laughs> All these things. Yeah. Great, great to know that. In but fact, that's my I, yeah. was... I study everything. Everything. <laughs> great, great, uh, awesome, awesome. Great to know. Yeah. Josefa, can you uh, put your question again? Uh, something funny from my childhood. That's what you asked. Yeah. Right? Exciting about your childhood. Like uh, if you have some kind of extraordinary things happen in the childhood, because I have heard so much about you, <laughs> but not in general. Also, I heard from other people also, as well as Vikram also was telling about you. So I just want, I'm excited to know about you. Okay. So, uh, in my childhood, there were a lot of exciting moments, but I'm, I'm not actually able to recollect which moment should I uh, put forth. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so yeah, I can, I can share a brilliant moment uh, in my childhood. I was in nursery, okay. So at that time, uh, in the Independence Day, we 
had a celebration in our school. I was, uh, I had no intention of delivering a speech or anything in nursery. Nobody does right normally. Uh, but what uh, happened was my father wrote a 10 line speech for me the very last night of the independence day. And I, uh, he read it to me and I was listening uh, to it. Then he asked me to uh, like keep listening to it. He was reciting it to me. So the very next morning he asked me that, Hey, uh, uh, would, would you like to speak it out? Uh, would you like to give a speech, deliver a speech? So out of nowhere, I said that, okay, I'll, I'll deliver. So that was my first solo stage performance. And I had no fear at all uh, on stage. And I delivered that 10 line speech beautifully. So that was a magic moment in my life. And from that moment, I knew pretty much that I can speak before a crowd. I love enjoy. I love to do that. Right. So that was a very exciting moment. Yes. Nice. It was I not a, funny, I have but... a similar story to that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, okay. amazing. You didn't even think you couldn't do it, right? You didn't even think it's about... Not at all. Not no, at all. it's like, oh, you want me to go up and do that? Okay, I'll do it. And then after, people say, do you know what you did? You're like, what? Exactly. Right? Exactly. If you think about it like it's nothing, then it's it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Very amazing. Very amazing. Thanks. So you knew from a... Uh, uh, how old were you? Yeah, at that time, right now, I'm... I'm no, no, then, right now. then, then when, when you gave then, that speech. Uh, two and a half or three years old. Uh, what? Most probably. Hello. Yeah, yeah. What? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Your show. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you. All right. So, I mean, I was, I was pretty small. I started my education like two and a half or three years old. Two and a half only, as far as I can recollect. Yeah. Two and a half in nursery, right? Yeah, yeah. What? In, in nursery. In, in nursery. nursery. In nursery. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Did you start school early? Did you start? Uh, did you? Yeah, I I did start school early because uh, my grandfather thought that it's it's good to start early, and in fact, I also showed a lot of interest in poems and other yeah. stuff. So that's well, you, why. yeah, it sounds like you were you were tuned, you were tuned for it. You were ready to go. Yeah, I, I, I was actually. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I, I love school. Five. By the way, yeah. I have this duality in my life. I always want to have fun with everything I do. And that and that leads into the thought I was saying earlier about you make these connections with by following things that you're interested in, but then you have to listen for what your exactly. teachers what your teachers are saying. And you have to be open, open minded. It sounds to me like 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 you you've always been ready for maybe new ideas. And, absolutely yes right absolutely open-minded yes. open-mindedness in fact uh, to be very honest uh, to to develop this mindset books helped a lot oh, i would yeah. very honestly put it across because i read a lot i i keep reading i read a lot i love to read and uh, my parents have been very kind to take me to book fairs when since the very childhood and there I fell in love with books and books can actually do something magical that you can sit here in India, let's suppose, and you can know about the rest of the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. Their culture, their behavior, how the places are, how the cities are, how people think there, everything you can learn. These yeah. days too, we have the uh, mediums like internet and social media, but even right now also, if you read a book, if you read a good story, it gives you ample scope to imagine. And that has no match, yes. to be precise. Yeah, you're right. You can watch a video about, about the people in, in Maui who have fires right now in Hawaii. Or you can read a story about how it affected exactly. that person. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I always felt like books were... Kind of, some some of my books were, were hidden little worlds. You know, I said, no, this is for me. Exactly. You know, you exactly. don't, you know. Let me ask you a question, because uh, uh, Huzafa, you asked me, uh, we were talking about this book. Yes. And I said, yes. I said, Huzafa, you can get this book. Just go on, just get the PDF. And what did you exactly. say? Exactly. You said you want, he wants yeah, the I book. Said 
I said PDF will not be more effective because when you are having a physical hard copy in your hand, it will be more effective as compared to the PDF because I am having a lot of PDF, 3,000 more PDF I am having in form of books. But when I find physical book in my hand, that is more effective. And that is that is why just people I, just love the traditional way of reading and not the advanced. What do you think about I completely that? agree. Yeah. In fact, you can touch the pages, you can smell that yes. uh, page. So I, mm -hmm. that has a different uh, experience altogether. But here I would also like to say that if you really want to have more uh, wisdom, then you should not care about do I have the hard copy or the soft copy. You should just get it and read it. Maybe you can buy it later. I have done a lot of times this thing that, okay, I read a book in PDF. And when I had the budget in line, I purchased that book. Simple as that, right? So you can also do that. There is, I understand what you are trying to say. Even I am in favor of physical hard copy, hardbound books, yes. right? But soft copies are also, uh, they're easily available. There is a beautiful world library, archive.org, where you uh -huh. can get all the books yes. absolutely free. So, yeah, so yeah, for the audience, if you don't know, archive, A-R-C-H-I-V-E dot O-R-G. O-R-G. Amazing, amazing resource. It's got a lot of stuff, some crazy stuff. Exactly. <laughs> but, exactly. but, you know, that's the, th that's the thing. We're talking about information, right? I mean, the information age, we live in this age where, where there's just floods of information. And I like what you said, get get the info get the right information you know we, when we're looking for something like napoleon hill's words that's the beautiful thing is i can have it now i really can Absolutely. and then and then if that resonates with me then i go buy the book if it, you, you can definitely yes, that's yes. It. yeah I've done, I've done that too that's funny we have the same <laughs> stories Great, great, great to know that we are vibing on the same frequency. Right, that means something's right. This is what I say. I I call it. I'm in sync, right? Yes, sync. exactly. You look at the clock, Huzafa, and it says eleven eleven, right? For me, it says it says one two three four. It says three two one. I'm always getting <laughs> sequences. Okay, I'm gonna, okay. It's crazy talks done. Mr. V is quiet. It's Huzafa's show. Yeah, how do you manage your day? What is your daily routine? Okay, so uh, my daily routine varies as per the work. For example, I am in my working hours from 12.30 to 8.30 or 12 to 8.30, you can assume that. So during those times, whenever I get breaks or blocks, I always do things in time blocks. So basically my life, you can see it on my Google calendar. So uh, everything is blocked. W what happens is if you do not block a time for a particular activity, your mind would take infinitely long time to do that yes, task. Yes. I can I can give you an example. Let's say if you plan to write a, write a very formal letter, I mean, four to five lines of content apart from the format. So if you do not time box it, your mind will take even one day to write that. Are you getting my point? So yes. it is very essential to time box everything even a call even a normal call even your social media time otherwise you can easily meander so what i do is i plan my weeks in advance uh, and i put it on my google calendar obviously it is flexible you cannot be very rigid with your routine you need to be flexible you need to be ready to bend it so let's say if i have a buffer zone in my calendar there is always a buffer zone so in that buffer zone, I can do the activities which I want, or let's say some emergency has come. I can tweak time here and there. So that's how I manage. So there is no set routine. So to give you an idea, uh, I normally work late nights. So I uh, wake up around uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. So uh, and till late night, so after work, let's say 8.30, my work is done. So after that, I have my dinner and then I... Uh, either record a video from 10 to 10 30 or 11 for my youtube channel or if i don't have a recording day that day i would study i would study for my interest areas or write a poem or do some research in physics would read some research in physics or uh, if that is a sunday for example tonight i will do all the pending things which have been a backlog right so i'll clear all that i'll read all my mails reply to them 
So that's how I, I do. So normally the weekdays look like pretty much this, that, okay, from uh, 9.30 to 10, I get fresh, take my bath. And after mm -hmm. that, if I have to do some quick reading, I do for 30, 40 pages. Then I try to sketch out the tasks for my day, which are already there on Google Calendar. So I note them down on a piece of paper to have a look continuously. And I always manage a distraction sheet. This is very important to mention. Yes. So let's, so let's say if you're working. Nowadays. Yeah, yeah. No, not because of that. See what happens. Let's say right now I'm talking to you. Okay, so um, in my mind, I might think that, okay, I need to buy that water bottle as well. Mind can have a lot of thoughts, right? Yes. So you can write that thought on a piece of paper that, okay, I have written it. I'll take care of that later. Because again, while talking, I cannot think and go on Amazon and find a water bottle, right? So those kind of distraction sheets I maintain and then I prioritize them that, okay, which one should be discarded, which one should be taken care of. And that's, that's how I manage my routine. So time blocking is a very important thing. You can call it Pomodoro technique, the very famous, uh, and managing a distraction sheet and having a flexible routine that would suffice. Have time for everything. Even if you are going for a party, if you extend that party, have that time also. Otherwise, it becomes very easy to meander if you do not have a time frame for anything. Right? So true. Yeah. I never. It's funny. I never thought about that, and I, I I've been experiencing that right now. Yeah, I have a task exactly. that I every day I go. I need to work on that. I need to yeah. do that. But in my head, I don't actually say I need to finish this today. I have three exactly. hours to do it because I know exactly. I could. Yeah, that's so funny. And the, the it happens with books as well. Yeah. Yes, please, sir. Well, the the distraction sheet. I love that. I love that. Um, I I I I I do that. I, I it's funny. I do these things and I don't realize. I have Google uh, uh, Google Docs uh, on my yes. phone. I have I have a document that's called like nonsense or what I forget what it's called. Okay. It, or or well, I I have task list and task list is these distractions actually when i when i'm thinking i'm talking to you i you you might see me go okay google add catch up to the task list and then it's gone right it's gone from my yes. brain yes exactly and then just to add to this thought why do we write things down did you ever think about this you guys why do we write things down i think it was socrates who said this it's a question why why do we write things down? For me, it helps in visualization. Uh, I do not know if there is a deeper meaning to it, but it, for me, it always helps if I write it down because I free the clutter from my mind on there a piece of paper. There it is. And uh, yeah. So we can, he says we write it down so we can forget it. Yes. Right. And people exactly. say, oh, write it on the list so we remember it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I put it That's, on the list so I don't have yes. to remember it. And then later Absolutely. I can come back and use my tools. That's what you're talking about here, my friend. You're giving us good tools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These are great tools. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm going to be quiet again because I talk a lot. I'm no, no, no. Uh, it's, it's, it's always fruitful. No, yeah. no, it's his office <laughs> show. And I always stomp all over the place. In fact, in fact, uh, uh, what I would just like to add to that idea I use Google Sheets and services offered by Google and Microsoft a lot, but not in, in managing my distraction sheet. Why? Because I have seen that if I pick up the phone to type, then my eyes would automatically go to a notification. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I'll again be distracted, right? So yeah, the that's second why I use a piece phone, of paper. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. oh, Facebook. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. you're right. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So you, it's so hard. It's like walking into another room. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We do that. There a lot. are different objects, and you know what I'm you talking feel like... about, you guys. You are going to do another. I'm going to go to the kitchen and 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 get some butter. I go in the kitchen. Why am I here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's like open my phone. Why did I open? The, why did I go into the phone? Right? Because, yeah. Now I get into it's all about nomophobia. It's what? Yes. It's all about nomophobia. Nomophobia is fear of fear, fear of, of uh, phones, right? 
if oh, I was correct. With the phone. Oh, I never heard of that one. That's cool. Yeah, yes. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's how yeah. that's how I try to manage things. But again, it is not a perfect, uh, perfect. I should say method because even I'm learning, right? So I'm trying to make it better and better each day, learning from different people learning to understand how they manage time better who are in fact i have uh, i would like to say something here uh, my senior mr ram prakash uh, he manages time really well so he's the head of curriculum design in the company stay curious where i'm working so he he manages it brilliantly i i haven't seen any better time manager than him in, in my life up to this point of time so yeah, I'm I'm learning a lot from different people and different books. So yeah. When it comes to time, I use one affirmation which I have just prepared for myself. I say that I have all the time I need. I have all the time I need. I repeat this on a consistent basis. And it helps. I have a quote related to time here, by the way. And that's a great affirmation, Huzaifa. So it, it basically says how many hours we have, how many minutes we have, how many seconds we have each day. Yes. non-negotiable non-refundable resource yes so we need to use it wisely right yeah. right, right. So i have a question yes yeah like parthum sir, sir like, like when you were in the schools you must have the computer of like or like belongs to you just like what the kind of the expertise we're just having now so what kind of threat that you what kind of class that you had with the your just nearby computer at the time and like whenever there were the two kind of the guy and they were on the same page and they were on the same expertise they always have the class with like who could just bring a more marks or more like going to through the percentage right so tell me something brief about your computer in a nutshell so uh See, if you are excelling in things, there yeah, would always be comp. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you are excelling in any subject or anything, whether it be school or life, there would always be competitors. And competitors are good. They keep you on your toes, basically. They do not allow mm -hmm. you to rest. Are you getting my point? So <laughs> it, it's a very good thing yes, if you look at it positively, but people take it as a pressure or, or uh, people take it uh, at times I have seen people getting anxiety attacks. So what I used to do, we had a, thankfully, we had a very healthy competition in the class. And in fact, I mm -hmm. I never dealt it like a competition uh, or something on my personal note, because I was more interested in my school library than anything else in my school. Because uh, in mm -hmm. school, whatever was taught and whatever was discussed, I used to do it myself and until mm -hmm. grade 11 and 12 it is quite easy right it's a, qu a quite mm -hmm. smooth sail uh, everybody knows that right it's easy so to stay it ahead was, if you try yeah it's, it's easy it, exactly exactly so i invested most of my time in my school library reading a lot uh, exploring different things uh, so my school library really had some wonderful books and i am grateful for that so what uh, to to avoid that competition I never did anything evidently to avoid it. Uh, it was a very healthy competition in school, Vikram, to be very honest. And all all, all of yes. us were friends and we jailed well together. We helped each other out. So, yeah. I hope that answers. Because we are on your... the age, like we are on the mature age, so we always have an inferiority complex, right? So we started just comparing our just computer. Those who are just close to our just that was never inside me I like, yeah so that is there now your question is a bit clearer so the inferiority complex was never mm -hmm. there inside me why i'll tell you it's not because that i'm i'm best or something i was not the best in my class i always get got the second rank or the third rank or fifth rank even i got 11th rank once in my class so it's not about being the best mm -hmm. why i never had the inferiority complex because I always knew that I'm doing something fruitful. I always knew what I want from my life. I always knew that, okay, I'm interested in physics. I'll study physics. Even if I fail, you have to get that kind of love for something that, okay, even if I am rejected, I will still keep loving her. So 
So if you have that kind of passionate love for any subject or any domain, it really helps to avoid that inferiority complex. So for me, physics is something yeah, like... To that, okay, just... Yeah, so for me, physics is something like this, that, okay, if nobody is watching me, at that time also, I would enjoy studying physics. Yes. And if nobody is validating that, okay, whatever I'm saying is correct, at that time also, I would enjoy studying physics. It's outside these things. It's a kind of eternal love, you can say. So if you have that kind of thing in your life, you will never have that inferiority complex, to be very honest. Yeah. And I suppose that what must is one own self. Like three yeah. exactly. Yesterday I was to find strength in that. That way one need to chase. How yes, can yes. improve from yesterday? Absolutely. And to be very honest, there were people who were better than me in physics in scoring marks in my class. So I, I never felt that I need to score more marks than them because I I naturally understand uh, understood the laws of physics and it was a great joy to understand the laws for the first time and dig deeper into it rather than competing and st score marks. So, yeah. Do you have any advice regarding cramming? Cramming because people... Regarding are... cramming? Yes. Don't cram. People are... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's not like now Absolutely. Don't cram. They are just yes. used, to, used yeah. to these activities in school. Wow. Yeah, this they is how, using how... their brain, but they are not learning something, but they are just cramming the things and just when it appears in the exam, they will just put down the answer. If you cram it in, it falls out the next day. It's got you Absolutely. have to learn it. You 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 have to read the subject, you have to find you have to review the subject, learn what you don't know, and highlight those things you don't know. Now study those things you don't know. Now narrow them down. That's what you're reviewing that's what you're cramming the last day is, absolutely what's, i what's cannot the, agree what's more the part, what's the part i'm having a problem with right understand your own needs but you won't definitely you won't understand it with what you don't know if you don't know what you're supposed to be learning that's definitely. why i told my students all the time you have to read this stuff guys you have to read it every day you have to get a little bit every day you can't cram it it won't stick it, it might you might get lucky for the test you might get lucky for the test but <laughs> the question was for you and we have a minute left i'm going to be quiet no what no i do? mean <laughs> so i i never crammed and in fact i would agree with what mr brian said absolutely true that we should not cram as simple as that why because biologically our brain does not function like that i'll tell you what you remember a movie because you use your senses better, right? You do not go and cram the scenes. Why does your brain remember that? Because you are not cramming. You are actually getting involved into it. So I would say get your hands dirty, experience it. Then you would not need to cram anything. Simple as that. If you want to study something about the stars, just stand on your terrace and look at the stars. <laughs> Think about it. Uh, rather than just reading out. and vomiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, are second, going to... Yes, yes. Here. So maybe we shall rejoin or what do you want? Yes, we can rejoin because this conversation is now becoming interesting. So <laughs> I will just try... We, we can just try rejoining. In, in. Yes, so who is your role model? That's a great question. I have many role models actually, but if I have to name... Two of them, uh, it is definitely Steve Jobs and Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, uh, honestly speaking. So, I mean, since childhood, I have read, followed them and studied them, actually, uh, everything about them almost. So I am highly inspired by these two people in my life, although there are a lot of role models in my life. I have a picture here of all my role models, uh, a collage, right? So yeah, these two names I can take. Although there are many, if I if you may ask, there are many like uh, starting with uh, Dr. Kalam, then Vivekanand, then uh, Einstein, Ratan Tata, uh, Tendulkar, Messi, uh, Gautam Buddh, Faraday, these people. Right. Yeah. What about yeah, Oppenheimer? Is... <laughs> uh, 
I haven't studied Oppenheimer that much, uh, to be very honest. Did you see so the movie? I, I, yeah, I watched the movie, yes. Mm -hmm. But I was expecting more science into it, with yeah. due respect to Christopher Nolan, sir. Yeah. And, but yeah. I found a little bit science was missing. More it was into the biographical aspect. Okay. Yes. OK. But it was wonderful. I haven't seen it. I've, I've, I've missed my opportunities, I think. I was gonna. I live in Hollywood. I was gonna see like at the Chinese theater, but now I should I, have actually. I, I, it I, is I, a I delight. Need to, I need to see it on a big screen. I know because well, enough about me. This is we're, you're a special guest, so so <laughs> tell us more yeah. about your heroes. Yeah, so there are many role models, as I was saying, right? Even Bill Gates is one of them. Then I have Henry Ford. Oprah no. Winfrey, then uh, Leonardo DiCaprio as well. Leonardo DiCaprio? Uh, I thought yeah, you were going to say Da Vinci. What? No, da Vinci <laughs> Why DiCaprio? Da Vinci is also there. DiCaprio yeah. is also there. Da Vinci is also there. I can why? tell you why DiCaprio. Yeah. Yeah, because first thing, he's a great actor. I, uh, I have studied cinema and direction, so I know what acting is. Secondly, he is one of the grittiest actors I have ever seen. Every time he got the nomination but couldn't win the Oscars for 11 times in a row. Yeah. That really requires patience and grit. So that is something to learn from him. And the Why way he... he acts, the way he talks is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what. Interesting. Interesting. So so you admire him for, a, for his craft. I have one other yes. question. Like. When you see successful people, you always see that they are just puzzled by the reading books, right? But people don't consider yes. this as a serious thing. They reading. just see that, okay, it is useless for me. So what would you comment on that? Well, I cannot uh, speak uh, enough uh, about books because everybody who uh, asks me, I, I keep telling them that, hey, please read books. See, what, what is the greatest thing or greatest advantage about books, I'll tell you, as I mentioned this before as well. If you start reading people from different walks of life, different corners of the world, you will be able to relate with the situation going on in your life. Let's imagine you had a heartbreak, okay, and you feel that the world has ended for you. You will have read somebody who had a similar heartbreak, but he came out of it and became great. So that gives you inspiration. For example, you scored low marks. You would start reading about great people who scored low in their exams. That you, you would be able to relate that, OK, if they can do that, I can do it for sure, like that. Are you getting my point? So that is yes. the biggest advantage of reading books. The second advantage is it gives you a lot of scope to imagine. Why I always prefer books over videos, although I prefer movies, good movies. But if you are watching a video and compared with if you are reading a book, it gives you enough scope to imagine. I'll give you an example. Let's say if you are reading about Napoleon, OK? And you watched a normal five minute video about Napoleon. So while watching that video, your brain would not imagine the things Napoleon would have thought at that time, what was going on his, in his mind. But if you read that book, your mind would constantly think about that character, his mindset. That, okay, why was he so confident? How come he was so confident? What was the war about? So when you think these things, you form better connections about critical thinking in your head that automatically develops your abilities. So that's how yeah, books help I, a lot. Yeah, and I also heard that it helps you imagination power, increase imagination power, visualization power, and improve that's memory. That's what I'm saying, right? Reading exactly. Books. That's that's what I'm saying. Imagination increases <coughs> a lot. You you start visualizing things. I'll I'll tell you what. If you read about, let's take a very simple example of gravity. If you are reading about gravity yeah. versus if you That's are watching a simple something, example, gravity. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I understand that many of us are not from physics, but uh, okay. You're gonna tell so us what gravity what, is. Okay. 
yeah yeah so <laughs> what i what i meant to yeah. say by that is yeah yeah so it's basically that let's say let's take the example of gravity so if you are studying about gravity uh, versus you are watching something a video about gravity you should always read that first and then watch a video i'll tell you why when you are reading you are open to imagine anything you are open to think that okay if there is a truck and if i am also standing why both of us no, are not sticking together if gravity is attracting everything around us that's a brilliant question to ask when you are studying gravity for the first time then you imagine again and you, then you realize that okay there is a higher or heavier mass earth which is pulling both of us so all these imaginations if you do not imagine if you directly watch it it will again be like cramming are you getting my point yes cramming so yeah yes. yeah yes. yeah if, do you understand if let's say prakash yeah oh yes, yes. yes prakash it's his question so i want you to uh, yeah uh, yeah, I'm picking up uh, what you're laying down, chocolate chips. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. So basically, if I let's say if I read about this pen or if I observe even this pen, so my mm. mind is open to imagination. Versus just imagine that okay, before even reading anything about this, before even thinking about this, I show you a video saying that this is a cap, this is a nib. So your imagination is gone. you have got the information you will not think more are yes. you getting my point so that's why reading is important that's because it be, be, because it leads us to ask questions is that what you're saying exactly exactly yeah. critical thinking is it's yeah in fact it, it leads us to inquiry and investigation as Re he was saying that uh, questioning everything question yeah so. and, and 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 the more you question the more connections you will make absolutely Definitely, it takes a, yes. sometimes it takes a long time to to connect <coughs> to that question but you will find exactly. it and it'll you'll be surprised where it connects to absolutely one one last example i would like to give in this regard all of us have watched harry potter uh, right in the form of movies right we have watched yes. it but you would be mind blown if oh, you yeah. ha would have read all the parts if you I read, read the all the parts yeah you oh great even mm. i read it but not well, i'm all an english parts. teacher so what am i going to do <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah exactly so if you read the books you would be mind blown to imagine different things but now your imagination would be biased why because you have already watched a video mm -hmm. in the form of a movie yeah it's limited if, if exactly You're exactly your vision is limited scope and perspective your scope now, every time, literally is limited yeah every time i would speak about a magic wand in the book being jk rowling let's imagine that jk rowling is speaking about the magic wand every time you will have that picture only which you have watched in movies you will not have your own imagination are you getting my point so that yeah. is that is why books yes. are very important Yeah, that's very wow. That's crazy. That's amazing. I'm just thinking about that. It makes me think another idea. Okay, so so you say, you're reading in the book, magic wand. Magic. Now every one of us right now sees a magic wand in our mind. Exactly. There's no. And there's that, no. I don't have. Do I have my magic wand? Wait, wait. Here's <laughs> my. Here's my magic wand. You see. <laughs> yes. Exactly. It's it's exactly. not what you, you thought it was going to look like, is it? No. No, this is this is my my Doctor Who magic wand. It's the same damn thing. Okay, but but now I've changed your 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 vision. The exactly. question is, what did you see? This is where I like to go for just a moment. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. What did you see in your mind? Okay, what you saw was what the Greek philosophers would call the form. the yeah. the the astral the ethereal okay in the ether this idea of magic wand okay and no this is not what i see i see a piece of wood i see a stick but i see a exactly. stick in my head do you see it all right we all we're all seeing this thing that's interesting but we have to also have the knowledge of magic wand wand yes prerequisites are always there yeah 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 in fact uh, 
right now even when anybody talks about magic wand we all would visualize that straight stick right yeah but if you would have read that book first you could have imagined a curved stick well yeah no that's what i was going to say i was going to say i don't no i won't see that straight stick i don't i can't because in my mind when i read the book i saw a curved gnarly exactly like a, yeah that's what i saw and so that's exactly. the magic wand to me every time i see it in the screen in the movie i go that's not right that's a hollywood that that's, that but explains that's, the that's point what, right that's yeah. what you're trying to say right yeah yeah cool i stop talking what is you. your advice about failure Ooh. because oh, wow, people are that's a great question and in fact that's a brilliant question we should the in a in one line if i say we should wear failure as a badge of honor rather than a badge of shame uh, because see one one thing is very essential to understand that okay if you're failing in something you are coming out of your comfort zone and you should respect yourself for that mm. i have seen people getting that's into right. the zone of shame and guilt that hey i failed it's good to fail in fact you can again go back to books if you read about anybody who has made it large in life everybody has failed and not one time multiple times that failure can be of different things in relationships they have failed they have failed in their experimental phase if they are uh, scientists we can take the very famous uh, example of edison right he failed a lot of times before inventing the bulb but what is the best part he learned that these things won't work as a filament yes it's in this book it's exactly the, uh, yeah it is there exact, in the book oh exactly. he has the exact number keep talking i'll try to find it yeah yeah so so basically uh failure we should all wear it as a badge of honor but unfortunately the society has painted the picture of failure as if we should never fail it is always good to succeed but no it is not yeah. even I I tell you in a in a very microscopic level if you watch mm. then also failure has its own advantages let's take the example apple is trying to develop a product okay mm. now their product engineers what do you think they come up with a brilliant idea all at once no they discuss they discard the ideas those are failed ideas but then they arrive at the correct idea so it is very important for you to fail in order to know what would work what would not otherwise it will just be a borrowed wisdom are you getting yes. my point yes for yes. example even if i tell you <coughs> even if i tell you that hey uh, you know light is the fastest entity in this universe mm. i told you you believed me that is a borrowed wisdom when you do that experiment you fail yourself you research you fail to get the answer that is a gained wisdom that we should strive for we we should we should fail in order to enlighten ourselves with different enlighten is not the correct word uh, to to encompass ourselves with different uh, wisdom snippets i would say so failure we should wear as a badge of honor in in one statement if i have to summarize and happily wear it not with guilt or shame yeah mm -hmm. thank you thank you yeah so if you if you guys have any other questions you can go for and by the way uh, may i know uh, mr prakash and mr brian from uh, where are you joining uh, yeah, i do not know yeah from which there is a you group. are america i'm in america there is a group we created on whatsapp and i posted ah, okay. the link and prakash is from india and mr v is from us hollywood okay yeah. okay uh, right. i live in hollywood so yeah. we are we are having the same goal and vision so we have created a group in whatsapp and that's how we awesome. just that's get a in. brilliant initiative by the way and mr well, prakash this is this is this is his offer this is this is he deserves the credit okay uh yeah definitely uh, He's now because because I've been trying to do a YouTube channel uh, for a long time and I'm I do my thing la, 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 little travel videos but I see I see Huzi here every day meeting starts nine nine sharp nine sharp and and I can't do it every day uh, but you're here you're here Huzi and 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 you and you you keep that drive and initiative uh, and um, 
I'm just trying to give you credit uh, 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 because what you do is you allow us to to share lots of different thoughts and ideas. And recently, you've been bringing in some very interesting guests, and I I thank you for that. Do you have a YouTube uh, channel, Choco Chips? I think I subscribed, but I don't know. Yeah, I do have. Uh, yeah, Josefa can share the link, maybe. Yes, I will share the link. <clears throat> This looks this, this there's a cookie on here. This is a cooking thing. That's not right. Yeah. yeah. Let me put it Wait, in. Let me show it to you, maybe. We're on StreamYard. Here's the chat. Yeah, can you can you drop your link in the chat? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I do not see the chat for some reason. Okay, now I saw the chat. Yeah, you gotta okay, go to the, the link. web. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I... I'll give you mine too. Sure. Sure. There, can you see that? That's in. Is it? Is the private chat? Is this? We lost Vikram yeah. because there is a connectivity issue, so we lost him. Okay. Because uh, only Wi-Fi connection is working well here on Steamyard. All right. Okay, okay. Huzafa can help you with your SEO. I got you. Let me see here. Great. Yeah. Because uh, he showed me some things the other day. Awesome. I got your channel as well. Looks some interesting stuff. I'll I just definitely subscribed. go to it. What have oh, you got here? This is my suggestion, Huzafa. I would, when you have guests, I would bring them, I would sh show his channel, you know, if you can share the channel. Uh, because he has some good stuff he looks like. Oh, I like it. Okay. He's a master. Mr. Nice. Is nothing, a master. nothing like nice. that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like I don't like yeah, I don't I know. really respect you for being here. Yeah. And taking out time and just sharing the conversation, sharing the thoughts. It's really a great Basically I'm curiously you. passionate. Uh yeah, so I'm not a Yay. master. Yet. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, what I want to do is I want to offer to you. Uh, uh, please try to join our WhatsApp group. Uh, sure, and I would be honored. I've, I uh, I've been trying to gear up to get the passion again to start my live stream. Uh, I want to do on the weekends. Uh, it will probably be about this same time, maybe next weekend. I'm not going to stomp on Huzafa's time. Uh, but I want to do a live stream and I want to have you come in as a guest and I want to show your channel and, and, and talk about some of these things as well. Uh, and what am I thinking here? That's, that's really all. I just wanted to make sure that I invited you to do that. Sure, sure. It would um, be my honor. We're yeah. building a network here. You know, yes, we're building a network absolutely. and of, 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 of channels for one thing. Yes. And we need to support each other, okay? So that's why I, I subscribe to you and I'll get my updates and I'll like yeah. your videos like I do for Husafa as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I also subscribe to your channel with my Thank different you. account. I'll Thank you. Uh, subscribe uh, with my Choco Chips account after this call, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go play video games on Twitch now. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> do you watch Twitch? <laughs> At times, I tried to explore, but I somehow did not connect with it. I do play people video games. Yeah, people don't like it. Yeah. it, it well, it's funny. Why do you want to watch somebody else play a game? I want to play, right? Yeah, even <laughs> even I, right? I want to play exactly. Yeah. So I do right. kind of a yeah, funny got, story. Thing. Yeah. From that, I got one question. What advice do you have from addiction point of view, Parthomisha? Like people are so much addicted right now. Ah. Whether it's shorts, whether it's games, any kind of thing any distraction so what advice would you have for that kind of people and that is problems? again a great question uh, you asked uh, so addiction is difficult i had my own addictions uh, through which i tried to get out and i can i can really give you some concrete solutions to it which why uh, which worked for me maybe you can try that out so uh, what i did was uh, i placed a camera which was a phone obviously a phone in my room and i tried to record my entire day okay so i tried to see that where my time is draining i was trying to note the time down that okay these many hours i wasted because of this addiction i was trying to clock it through different apps but that was not helping then i tried to 
look at myself from a third person's eye view. Mm-hmm. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? So yeah, I you're try very to look at myself. Analytical, my friend. Very. Uh, yeah. Very. It's very uh, inspiring. Thanks and also, it's me too. You know, we're always. We're, but you've taken some tools that I've thought about doing before, about recording myself. Really look at your own behavior from an outside perspective. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Powerful thoughts. So basically, <laughs> what happened was when I looked at myself in that recording, I was filled with guilt and shame that hey, I have so much potential. And why am I doing this? Why am I wasting my hours? So when you have that realization, when you have a look from outside, so there are two ways to do it. One is the way of meditation. For that, you need to be an expert. That is not possible in a day or two. But a quick solution can be you record yourself and you look at it. So you would be you would be very much shocked that hey. how many hours you are wasting and you have limited time so why not give it up so that was it so that was the moment it it gives it up all the second powerful technique is if you have a person in your life to whom you can be absolutely naked while you talk naked as in in terms of word you do not have to use any filter think about how yes. am i looking or how do i need to talk if you can speak that out honestly however nasty however bad your addiction is that really helps then you get into an obligation that okay now this person knows about me yeah. so if i do it again i'll have to be answerable are you getting no, my so point so yeah yeah so these two things really work in addiction <clears throat> to get rid out of it yeah but these two things work for me like magic yeah so that's what well that's it for now i don't have enough in mobile yeah. so i'm just cool uh, speaking of addiction yeah thank you thank you for inviting me it was really a pleasure and absolute honor to be a guest yeah. with uh, yeah, so you're kind hearted yes. people and it was really wonderful interacting with mr brian uh, oh you mr. too no you too my so pleasure Prakash really, really. Yeah. is Vikram mine as well and yes yes prakash yeah i don't know if we've met before it's nice to see you it's nice to meet you or see you yeah. again oh, yeah. <laughs> prakash I, you're I, from I, which I'm, part of the country by the way i'm actually from south part of the country so i'm from, from tamil nadu tamil nadu okay okay um, great um, actually i i can like i uh, graduated like uh, Yeah, I go and then I'm currently working in. Uh, which field did you say? IT, IT. IT, okay, okay, yeah. great. Even I'm working uh, from home, uh, right? The office is in okay. Bangalore. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So where are you from? Where are you from? I am connecting from a city called Dhanbad, that is in the state of Jharkhand. Okay, okay. Yeah. So your office will be in Bangalore. Yes. Yes, but currently working from home, so this is my study. Okay. So from here only I work. Yeah. Okay. But you have to get outside. Really That's great. another piece of advice. Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is absolutely true. In fact, travel is very important. Uh, I also believe that. Yeah. Mm. Well, excuse me, gentlemen. I'm going to go, and I'm going to say thank you. Okay, yeah, guys. Thank you for joining. Good See you some next yeah. time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Really had a great session.